Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It is the sixth, one more day, one more day till school officially starts and winter break is over. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. T tomorrow's school? No, tomorrow you still, you're, you're but still home with me, you guys. Yay. I When I tell you that I am so tired, JB woke up at 12 o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, I've been up since 2 a.m. I went to bed at 9. I am so tired. Cause I, I what what make what makes it even worse, it would be totally different if I slept straight from 9 to 2. It didn't happen that way. I am so tired. So <clears throat> I had me some coffee. Oh Lord, y'all. I'm I had me some coffee. I'm I can't even think straight. I had me some coffee. Um, but I literally got sleep in increments of two hours. I tried to go back, hush, 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 hush. I tried to go back to sleep again around 2.30. He would not go back to sleep. So, and y'all heard me in the last vlog, his sleep has been horrible. I have a horrible sleeper. And it's just something that I just have come to terms with. It doesn't matter what time he goes to bed, he still wakes up between 5 and 6 a.m. every morning. I'm very, so, but you don't get you don't get a break as a mom, so I just can't say, oh, I'm gonna take a nap and sleep in. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and I'm uh, I have to go to the grocery store because my husband is off tomorrow. Tomorrow, um, he's off tomorrow, and I'm gonna be cooking. Girl. So anyway, is Daddy off today? No, he's not. If he was, I would definitely would not be out. No, he's off tomorrow. Um. And I like to go to the store before the, you know, the stores get crowded Are and then it off? really makes me anxious. No, I'm not off. I have not been off, to be quite honest. I've been off up here, but I have not been off work, JB. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah, I am too. So. But I'm happy that you work at home. Anyway, so. <laughs> so anyway, today, this morning. Um, girl, suck it up. This how it is being a, a, a mom, a wife. Some of you who are like, oh, I wish I was in a relationship. I wish I was married. This is the life. I wish I had kids. This is the life. This is reality. Oh, yeah, I wish I had, you had kids. I have a kid. I should have showed you guys how I make this, but I wasn't sure where I was going to go with this. This is Southern vegetable soup. Now, catch this. <laughs> When you look up a recipe for southern vegetable soup, you would think it's nothing but vegetables, but no. Traditional southern vegetable soup calls for a ground beef. Um, but I don't really do ground beef at home that much. So um, I have your traditional carrots, potatoes, um, celery, onions, corn, green beans, tomato paste, tomatoes. I did beef stock and a little bit of chicken stock. One bay leaf, Italian seasoned onion powder, garlic powder. A little bit of salt, didn't need a lot. Um, and elbow macaroni, just a little bit of elbow macaroni to get it a little bit more bite. When I, when it was said and done, it tastes a little sweet. Excuse me, a little sweet. Uh, yeah, my mouth is drooling because I'm hungry. And that is probably due to the tomatoes. So what you can do to cut the sweetness in a soup, apple cider vinegar. I added one tablespoon, excuse me, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I did it half a cap full at a time, and sure enough, that cut that sweetness. So what I'm going to do, this is a lot. I already packed some up for my husband for work. I will give some to my neighbors because um, she just had surgery. My neighbor's from Paris, Texas. She's been down for a few weeks. That'll be enough for them, enough for me today, enough for me tomorrow, and I'm going to freeze the rest. Hey, 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 you guys. So I want a girl, I need a feel. Look at that. Anyway, moving on. I wanted to show you guys my 2019 um, planner setup. Now, I have been waiting on a planner from Amazon forever. Anyway, it was a happy planner. It was a horizontal foil um, undated, but they were tripping on the order. Five minutes ago, you were, you were fine. Now you are working towards that. They already have called the winners for the Golden Globe, so you ain't getting one. So anyway, 
ignore it y'all um just like i am so i had to cancel that order and i i have been working out of two planners i just got from walmart so this is the happy planner i am a planning person but i found that being very creative with this helps with my anxiety and everything so i'm just going to go through briefly and show you guys what it looks like um just in case you're interested so Every month has a section for important dates, birthdays, which JB's birthday is coming up, some notes. I really don't use this section. It's just there. I will jot down some important notes, excuse me, dates though. Then I have these um, pockets. I think these are for the mini planner, but that's okay. Inserted in these or Alexis, she's in her trench coat. She has some free printables. I've mentioned these before. I love them. Project plans, brainstorming, brain dumping. If you're like me, if you have a lot of ideas, I have to jot them down. So typically when I'm doing my task, monthly task, weekly task, I use Alexis um, sheets and I put everything down and then I separate that into projects, so forth and so on. So here in this first, um, pouch here or pocket i have my goals okay all my goals written down um and i'll show you guys how i went a step further and use the accessory notes for the happy planner kit to actually do make my goals smart goals which are really important you want your goals to be measurable attainable realistic um so anyway yeah that's the first pocket here or example of monthly tasks that i have coming up for january february this is an example of a project plan, which is for um, my 2019 YouTube videos. Um, I just go ahead and just drop down ideas. Yeah. I saw this recently. There is a guy by the name of, uh, he wrote a book called The Miracle Morning by Hel Elroyd. And I saw another YouTuber. She actually had this in her planner. And basically it's, again, the morning routine and savers, which stands for, sorry, it stands for um, silence affirm, visualize, exercise, read, and scribe. I kind of sort of already do this, but it's great to see this visually. Don't have the best handwriting. Can I pick you up? Yeah. Give me about three hours. Uh, can't do that. Okay, now they look like silence. So yes, yeah, so taking every one of these sections every morning and i do i'm really good about this or i've gotten better about this i'm not really good at writing journaling i used to journal a lot and i have journals from 15 years ago back there um i'm really good at positive affirmations affirm visualize exercise sort of kind of so i like to have this here so i can see it um all right so the next one is just jotting down my YouTube ideas that are all here. Um, okay. And then this is just something that I cut up. It's a little wrinkly, but it's okay. I cut up and punch holes in. Um, and this is just a uh, Bible scripture or verse from Ephesians 2.10, which basically helps me with my goals. Um, so I do believe in including scripture or quotes and align that with your goals, which I'll show you here in a section in a second. Just a blank page, just in case I just need to jot down some more ideas. I have a book log, and then I'm gonna show you an example of my goals. So what I wanted to do here is include the name of the goals, why, a due date, a quote of scripture, and some action items, okay? Sorry, y'all, why didn't y'all tell me my lens was dirty? Um, so this is just an example of a quote for this particular goal. Ideas are easy, implementation is hard, and this is revamping my, my blog, which I have to start on this week. Um, another one, a goal for a skill set. Quote, action is the best teacher. JB, hush. Now JB's, you need to stop. Oh my. Mm -mm. What a good way, a great way, not a good. What a great way to start off my Monday, girl. Oh, I guess you weren't. I guess you weren't pretending. <laughs> yeah, I don't do vomit. I mean, who does? As soon as he vomited, I might go to the bathroom. Thank God he hadn't had any breakfast, so it was mostly liquid. There wasn't any like mystery meat. The camera's kind of crooked, so. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Go go to the bathroom. Jump in the shower. I don't play around when it comes to vomit, to uh, body bodily fluids at all. And, and, and I also built is are is building a Lego mall, and I and I build a big mall. 
mm -hmm. on the couch. So I literally used every towel we have in the house to get up all that liquid because it went, it's on the couch. To the cushion of the couch. Oh, and you know, when you clean up vomit, you still smell it on you. I, I feel like I still smell it even though it's, it's been gone. JB said it smells like cleaning products in here. <laughs> Good. And, and, That's um, what we want it to smell. And then on the towel, and, and the towel, and then the, um, the cover is what it threw up on. So, and, and that um, towel was for my work, but I got my Spider Man blanket and then used it. Child, they don't care about that. They don't care about that. So, um, rubbing alcohol, baking soda immediately, and water, e mostly rubbing alcohol, immediately on everything. Let that sit there for a while, get it all up, brush up any part. Don't drink, don't drink all that alcohol. Well, I'm talking about rubbing. Right, now, let me get finished showing y'all my planner, and then I'll show you this week what I kind of did, and um, I apologize to JB. I did, you know, while he was there, stop it, baby, don't do that, while he was there, laying on the couch I didn't completely ignore him ignore him you guys I had given him some medicine right and a mixture of water with um baking soda girl I'm so country just a little bit just for his stomach and because he was okay like right before I started filming he was up talking to me and then he got back on the on the couch as soon as I picked up the camera so I thought he was pretending but now that everything's clean and put away <laughs> You were recording and then I threw. <laughs> Basically, that's what happened. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to apologize to your children when you're in the wrong, and I, I do that. I wanna make sure that he knows that it, that I'm sorry for not really believing him. With it. I mean, I knew his stomach, I did believe him, but I thought he was exaggerating, and I thought he was pretending once I got on cam. Cause normally he decorating does. my planner with stickers for the month. I like to do that for the week. Um, and this is the month, and I didn't go crazy with it for this planner, but my other planner I did because I just got this like literally like two days ago. But for February, yeah, we, we're gonna decorate it. Um, and then since these weeks have already gone by, I'm not gonna use. Now I could reuse these, but we're not going to. Yes, girl. Okay, great, great, great. So this is what this week is looking like. Aren't these cute? Starting on my blog. Now I did print out, baby, okay, that's good. I did print out these little inserts. This is my self care plan. This goes back to the savers diagram you saw up at the front. I have a meal, weekly meal plan here. These again, these were free that I got off the internet. And what we have going on for the rest of the week, so yeah. Hey everyone, yes, I got my bonnet still on. My lips are glossy because it is a fix, it's, it's been officially Carmex season. And I haven't been able to find my lip gloss. I've been using Vaseline, but Carmex does it. Even though it has that thing in there that you, it has an ingredient that is known to cause people to be addicted to Carmex. Whatever, girl. Yes, my Christmas tree is still up because let me tell you, my week, the last two weeks, <sighs> JB was sick yesterday. He was officially sick. He had a temperature of 102, 102 at one point. My poor baby. He wasn't eating. He had diarrhea, vomiting. So we think it was a little stomach bug. He's okay today. He has a low grade fever. Today is officially going back to school day, but I'm keeping him home just because the fever, I checked it this morning. It was 99 point something. So. Yeah, tomorrow is Kona Ice. They have snow comes tomorrow. So, girl, I was, I was so upset yesterday when I, I had a feeling I'm like, oh my god, he's officially sick the day before winter break ends, and I won't be able to have a full day to myself tomorrow. But it's okay. It is what it is, y'all. That's life. That's what it is. So, that's one of the reasons why my tree. I say all that to say, today I was officially going to take down all of my. He his ass probably should have went to school. I was going to take down all of my decorations um, today, but since there's he's home, I don't want to do this when he's home because there's some stuff that are glass, and if he breaks something, I'm gonna have to break him. So anyway, y'all, come see my mom. It's the week of JP's birthday. I am off Friday, of course, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We always take off for JP's birthday. Yeah, And I have started doing um, creating or 
uh, yeah, the, the Pac-Man decorations. On top of all that, I'm still doing recording videos or uh, hair related videos and I have at least three that I'm recording today, which is a lot. So that's gonna take up literally half today. I don't think you guys realize how many products, those of us who channels are mostly focused on tutorials and reviews, we use a lot of products. I'm gonna show you how many products we I am using within two weeks. That's just two weeks. That's not even including any stylers, okay? Um, just to show you, the, to give you a reason why I think my hair has kind of stalled as far as growth goes and to back up why I'm taking like permanently a break with my hair. Like, yeah, this is, would be it. This year would be it for any product. Last year I said officially it was it for product reviews, but I've had two people reach out to me recently and they're small business owners and I have a little in my heart for small business owners. So one of them, the curl game is coming and another one, love my fro. I told her that she can send me some stuff. So, and after that, that's it. Um, I'm gonna take the time this morning to clean this house. Look at this house. We had a new sink installed yesterday, so there is stuff every, this is, this is a mess. So I like to do a quick speed cleaning in the morning. I just like to make sure that things are in its place. Um, administration, it's just been harder all the time anyway. Two weeks, and not the orange girl. Which, by the way, put I put some orange peel in this rice water. My rice water doesn't stink at all. Look at all this. This will be two weeks of reviews because a good content creator, or I should say, not necessarily a good, a smart YouTuber will film multiple, multiple, <laughs> multiple videos in one day. So there's the Pac-Man. I know you really can't see it. Those are the dots this is the dresser with the yellow and the black on the side here there's a lampshade i'm not worried about this on the side here i'll probably go up let me go ahead and put some see now we're gonna see i'm not but i'm not worried about this right here so i just sprayed some on the side there and there's a lampshade i sprayed yellow and that's it i'm not gonna spray this because his clothes go in here so no this is the before, I've already taken the circles down, you see up there. Right now it's a car theme. Car and I guess travel theme, all this stuff is going down. Yeah, that, I'm gonna take my logo down too. All of this stuff. What stuff? My this is what the drawer, the dresser looks like. I mean, uh, I probably could do a, another co coat up there, but that's okay. Um, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Lampshade, the Pac-Man with the three dots. Could probably spray paint this a little bit better, but y'all, yeah, it's okay. This is cool, cool, cool. And then for artwork, I printed out these images. These awesome. And I have frames already in there. This probably could have done. Probably not going to use this one. So, yeah. Hey you guys, it is Wednesday hump day. Girl, this week is going by hella fast. Y'all time is speeding up. Get your house in order. I cannot believe we're in mid-January almost. Mid-January, this is crazy. Uh, my hair looking crazy. When I get home, I'm going to twist it up in big twists. I just dropped JB off at school. He did really well. He was excited to see his teachers. Um, I did ask his teacher if it was okay if I brought the class donuts on Friday for his birthday. And she's like, yeah, it's perfectly fine. You can't do homemade goods up here. You know, because I was like, I can bring in some cupcakes for everyone. They can't do that. It has to be store-bought. So, that's fine. Donuts. The kitties love donuts. So, I'm going to bring donuts in the morning. But, girl, real quick crazy 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 i don't know maybe because i come from an area where things are unpredictable and my husband hell coming from east africa it, during the time specifically ethiopia and during the time when he and his family came over the country was i wouldn't necess necessarily say war torn because there was never a, an official war when he came over in the early, early 90s but there was violence so he's used to violence so i get a frantic text message from my neighbor from paris texas she even called me but i didn't call her back because girl i'm a, I'm a borderline millennial we don't call people so she's like um let me reach out a text message girl she was frantic which you know 
makes sense she's like make sure your doors are locked and outside lights are on there's an armed robbery shooting in our subdivision did you hear the police cop copters um look at the facebook group so most most neighborhoods have facebook groups which sometimes can be full of foolery depending on where you're at but i'm a part of my facebook group and this area you guys the area that i live in is north phoenix and this is a fairly nice area i mean the houses can range from two hundred thousand up to four hundred thousand dollars so yes you you just it just can't be just anyone living in this area and actually i'm looking at a sign here and they have new houses saying um from the mid three hundred thousands your random break-ins which typically happen in the, in the daytime so <clears throat> apparently <clears throat> so apparently a guy was shot in his home um two people entered it was a home invasion two people entered and unfortunately the guy he died the only reason why i found out earlier than some people is because of my husband working in the hospital so i had called my husband well first of all i got on the facebook group and of course everyone's going crazy because they're thinking you know oh my god there's a maniac on the loose well, my experience looking at first 48 hours and id videos shows at least it is very rare especially in an area like this that is nice not to say it won't happen but it's very rare that someone would do a home invasion on people they don't know at six o'clock seven o'clock at night jb was in bed by this time but i heard the helicopters for a good 30 minutes they were trying to find the guy and of course on the facebook group child these people were going absolutely crazy which i understand you're you're especially if you're not used to it but again ain't nobody going to try to run up in your house at nine o'clock at night more than likely they're going to go to a public area or go take their asses home especially if they shot someone that's crazy huh so anyway you guys i'm going to go home and do a quick workout hey y'all um yeah i didn't go i didn't go to the gym <laughs> i didn't go to the gym <coughs> oh, excuse me <coughs> let me check my mail I did not go to the gym. Um, I went ahead and went shopping. I went to Target. I'm looking at my work email. A bunch of foolery came in. Went to Target and then um, I went to go pick up my stuff on Michael's, which Michael sent me a coupon. Come on, you get an additional 20% off. I'm like, girl, no, no, I don't need that. So let me show you what I bought. First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. This is so cute. A phone case from Target. Isn't that cute? It says good vibes. It reminds me of the 80s. I didn't like the majority of Target clothes and honestly I haven't purchased clothes from Target in so long because they could be expensive. I'm not paying $20 for no raggedy ass no, I shouldn't say. I'm not paying $20 for a shirt. Um, I used to shop there all the time before I had a child um, for their clothes and shoes, especially for my work attire. But nowadays, I'm like, yeah, no, nah, I've just not noticed that this just has one little stitch. Her ass better hold on to then. This is cute. This is a pretty color. I think that looks really good on my skin tone. I'm gonna wear this for JB's um, uh, little birthday dinner with some um, jeans and some black boots. I think this will be real cute. It has a low plunge, so it's a little sexy. And girl, it, it you know swoops in the middle, so I think that's really cute. Good morning, good morning, good morning, ning, 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 ning. It's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm ready to swing. Girl, I'm gonna have to pick another Friday sign. Uh, all things considered it is friday it is the start of jb's birthday i think i'm more excited about Bur jb's birthday weekend extravaganza than jb is actually i you <laughs> jb said he is so a couple of things girl we've already stopped by first of all we're at school we're parked because we got dunkin donuts i bought 50 donut holes or munchkin donuts from dunkin donuts it's just 11 dollars um I'm going to be baking JB a cake, a chocolate cake for his birthday, even though he doesn't eat it. Um, I may invite some people over to sing happy birthday. Not chocolate cake, a Pac-Man cake. I have a little light beat going on um, just because... I don't know because I'm going to be running around doing a lot of stuff and I'm still going to go to the gym. I'm going to have to go to the gym because I've only been to the gym once this week and yeah. Going to the gym after we do this. After the gym. Look at my list. After the gym. Oh, I don't need to go to the Dollar Tree anymore. Let me mark that off. I'm just going to go straight home and redo the room. 
yeah i'm off today my vacation started today my husband is off today he gonna be off getting on my nerves girl look i see this now I'm, i need to i need to include this with my glasses came from fermo <laughs> last night hush boo boo my glasses came last night don't do that baby they are small they are very small the they're like children's glasses. Oh, yay! Anyway, the glasses are too small, y'all. So I contacted them immediately for $60. It, it was very affordable, but... You, like, go... Because the glasses are small, it's throwing off the prescription, okay? So I'm like, I'm, I need to return this stuff and get my money back. We will in a minute, okay? Chill out. Okay, so let me mark off the Dollar Tree. I got a couple of things for JB to wear. Here, boo-boo. He's gonna wear this in class today. <laughs> it's, just, it's so cute. He wore this in class for his birthday. Yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I would be my JB six years old. <laughs> All right, you guys. So just got out of that room with the kids. The children are such a joy. I, I know that it's stressful being a teacher. I can only imagine, girl. My to-do list, the kids are on a schedule and they pretty much, you know, by now they've been in school since August, last August, and so they know the routine. You know, at five years old, they know what to do once they get into class. They are such joys. They are so sweet. A couple, a couple of the girls towards the end are like, do you want to have a play date with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do you mean with JV? They're like, no, with you. I'm like, oh, baby, I don't play with kids. They're so sweet, though. Um, was done with that fairly quick, so now we are off to the gym to do a quick workout. And like I said, since I already went to, um, I stopped by Fry's to get a couple of things, so that bypasses me going to the to the Dollar Tree, so I don't have to do that. After the gym, we're going to go right into, um, uh, what am I, redecorating JV. I feel like I got a sneeze. I feel like I got a sneeze. Are right, you guys, this is JB's bedroom. <laughs> so everything, most of all the decorations I did myself. The only thing I purchased was this um, metal decoration here, but this is the dresser that I spray painted yellow and black. And he has a little mini Pac-Man, just stuff that matches the whole theme. Here's his Halloween <laughs> costume. Here's that lampshade that I spray painted, just hints of yellow. Um, we have a Pac-Man. This is stuff that I printed out. Game over signs that I printed out. And again, just some more stuff here. Printouts of the ghost. I have one more thing coming and that is his um, bean bag that's just going to go right over here. I was thinking about doing something along this wall, but I think there's so much pop of color and with the bean bag, it'll be okay. Here's what his bed looked like. Just a basic black um, uh what I'm trying to say, comforter with some yellow pillows, his 500 stuffed animals, but I really do think he's gonna like the giant Pac-Man eating the, um, I don't know what you call that, Pac-Man stuff. Yeah, didn't cost me, I would say like 180, 190 to do everything, and I really do think he's gonna like this, you guys, I really do. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, close your eyes. I don't open Come on, now you can open. Open up your eyes. Wow! <laughs> this is awesome. Is it awesome? It's Pac-Man eating the dots. Eating the dots. What else do you see? And up there is Pac-Man and the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? This dresser came up pretty cool too, huh? Some paint on that orange too. Mm-hmm. Your picture, yeah. Silver dollar. Your silver dollar. <laughs> and your piggy bank. Yep, everything what, that you what's like. What's our surprise? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Hey, you guys. It's the end of, towards the end of February. No, girl, towards the end of Friday. Um. I meant Friday. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna have to open up me a bottle of wine. Um, I decided at the last minute to invite some people over Sunday for JV's birthday, and I'm gonna show you how you can basically plan a get together with um, little to no 
<laughs> advance notice. But one thing I do want to say is that I have a lot of stuff at home. So I know your average person may not have a lot of these things at home. I tend to keep, um, I showed them your room, darling. They already saw your room. I tend to have serveware already here, plastic, um, napkins, but I wanted something specifically for a JB. So I'm gonna show you Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. I'm going to um, be able to serve some snacks because even though it's last minute, when you have people coming over, you wanna have something for them to eat, even if they don't eat it, you know, just offer something. Um, you wanna have some type of beverages. And of course, your main centerpiece, which is for us, is going to be a cake. I sent out a quick text message earlier this morning, letting some people know in the neighborhood that we were having cake around 1 p.m. I was able to gather everything for less than $20. And that's because I'm using some food I already have in here. So let me show you guys what we purchased from the Dollar Tree. Now because I'm a crafty helper, I always keep streamers on deck. So these streamers... I've had here, I've already had balloons, so decorations are basically almost done. All right, so as far as decorations go, I believe in spending bare minimum, especially for something like this that wasn't necessarily planned. So from the Dollar Tree, I got 75% of these items from the Dollar Tree. We have napkins, plates, Lego party favors, a happy birthday sign, party hat. Got juice boxes for the kids. There's gonna be no more than three kids coming, so that'll be enough. Um, for the cake, we're gonna be doing a layered chocolate cake. I have triple chocolate. Can we open this and one? No, 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 we're gonna open everything tomorrow. We have triple chocolate and then we have a soup and rice. Okay with mixing as long as it's chocolate, chocolate is chocolate. I'm gonna use one and a half boxes. And then we have fudge icing. I have another tub of icing to ice it to be extra because I'm extra. I'm gonna crumble on top chocolate almond pieces, but I'm gonna do them really big in case anyone is allergic, they can take off the chocolate and then further decorate the cake with these mini Hershey bars. As far as snacks or anything goes, um, oh, and I got some forks for the cake. Dollar Tree, again, picked up some crackers. I also already had a can of beans, spicy jalapeno, this is mostly for the adults, spicy jalapeno, and what are you doing? Don't mess with that, don't put it down. Put it down before you break it. Spicy jalapeno, again, this is mostly for the adults, in the fridge, and then I have some rotels that I can add with that. Sprinkle me. on some cheese, got some chips from the Dollar Tree. Me, guys. <laughs> That came from the Dollar Tree. I have some carrots in the fridge. And yeah, that is it. You know, three items to snack on and a cake. I think that's more than enough for something that's last minute, not really planned. Last year, I went overboard and I did too much and we had so much food left over. So quick and easy, bottled water for the adults. Um, and that's it. Y'all have to excuse the background. Hey, JB, how are you feeling? Yeah, my husband's working out on this raggedy old treadmill. JB woke up at 4.30. Child, you, that, that treadmill needs some WD-40. JB woke up at 4.30. I went to bed early. I went to bed at eight o'clock, but I didn't sleep well. Um, we still have a couple of hours. It's early, it's nine o'clock. So the cake, once the cake is done, we're gonna I ice it. Piece. No, we're gonna ice it. Well, once, once mm -hmm. I open it, yeah, you can, okay? Once we Have get ready. No, 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 no. Stop, stop it, Jake, baby. We're gonna ice it with fudge chocolate icing and then put all this candy on top of the chocolate cake. Now, what I'm making right now, because we're gonna be at the hotel today and tomorrow. So tomorrow, no, by the time um, we... I, I want um, a Hershey cake. Um, up there, but I'm talking about only one. No. We're not gonna do that because you have sugar cookies. We also are making sugar cookies since someone doesn't eat chocolate cake. Now, since I'm tired, y'all, so I'm so glad. Hold on, baby. I'm tired. I'm so glad that, you know, we basically are just gonna do the hotel um, and go out to dinner later on. And then, of course, his party's tomorrow. Right, boo boo? But I want a pack man cake. <laughs> so, um,. I need to get as much done tonight or today because we're gonna be leaving here midday. So here are all my decorations. Um, his balloons are here. I took down all of my um, camera stuff. We have the crackers that are gonna go here. I'm gonna wash everything today. Once I'm gonna lay down here in a minute, y'all, because I literally got up, straighten up everything. <laughs> I need to take the tree in the back, box it up. I'm gonna do that in the morning when we get back from the hotel. 
I'm making Rotel bean dip and these beans have jalapenos already in them. All I'm going to do y'all is add half of the can of the Rotel tomatoes, tomatoes not, not even that, onion powder, garlic powder, um, a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to place it in this container cast iron. This is like a small cast iron skillet. I'm going to pop this in the fridge and then tomorrow before the party pop it in the oven um, for about 50 until it's warm sprinkle a little cheese on top and then serve it alongside the chip that is it we're not doing a lot since this is a very impromptu um, but I just want to make sure that everything is in its place when we leave here today there's his bean bag and that really goes with the color scape of the room and then, and then this is what the cake is looking like now. I feel like it's a little, it's a little uneven. I'm gonna push it more on this side. All right, and here we go. This is chocolate fudge cake with chocolate toffee. This is a huge, one of those huge chocolate toffee. What do you call them? Symphony, symphony. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm talking about. It has an almond toffee chocolate. That's the entire bar crumbled up on top. We have Hershey's on the side here. Is it awesome, JV? This is our room, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm up here. <laughs> kitchen area. Oh, it has, there's a kitchen in here. We can put all our stuff in the kitchen. This is a bathroom. Just so. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. What is back here? Oh, good Lord. Oh, this is a bedroom down here. Then what's upstairs then? There's a full-size kitchen, a full-size bath. Wow. And there's another living room here, too. There's another living room here. Yeah. Oh, fine. Oh, wow, this is nice. Oh, 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 that other door? Wow. What's in here? That's another bathroom, so I'm really confused. Like... Two Y'all can stop laughing at this. JB, this bathroom has, um, what do you call it? And, uh, it use the clean your pocketbook, girl. You're supposed to turn it on and sit down. Girl, I'm not cleaning nothing on it. I don't know who ass has been on this toilet. But JB's like, mommy, I tried to wash my hands and uh, it's too little. Ciao. So this is JB's little cot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his night night machine and his stuffed animals, extra towels, y'all. This huge area. You would think it would sleep more sleep more than two, but it doesn't. This is this is a true executive suite, meaning that you know, business people come here. Mm hmm. Definitely business meetings and girl, someone bringing their mistresses. Definitely. Mm hmm. It's a bar in the kitchen. I told my husband this is perfect for a bachelor bachelor party. I mean, oh, he's like, like <laughs> he's like, where would they sleep at? Child, they wouldn't sleep here. They would go home or crash on the floor. This is the kitchen. How how deep is this pool? I'm curious. Oh, it's not bad. Three to four feet. I think of this as a sweat room. It has its own sauna. Ma'am. No, thank you. I'm beating my hot dog. Please. Is it? I'm going to put my feet in my hot dog. Oh, there it is. My feet in my hot dog. Oh, that's warm. That feels good. Warm. Oh, my God. That's warm. That is warm. Is this pool heated too? Oh my! Yep, the pool is heated too. We will what? definitely be coming out here. What's gonna be the temperature tonight? Like around 50? Oh my God, it's boiling. It's not boiling. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm wearing. This yellow mustard shirt. Oh my God, it makes me look like I have a belly. When I 
Lord. Pretty though. This is my makeup. All right, y'all. The pool, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to go in the pool. I'm going to go, go in the pool. Yeah, this is my swimsuit. I'm going to go in the pool because I feel better. <laughs> Yeah, there are towels outside. Yeah, there are towels outside. My phone. Oh, oh, it's getting cold. I'm going in the... <laughs> Way too long. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, it has been a remarkable, remarkable weekend. This place is beautiful. I mean, look at this. Girl, my husband won must want an extended tour session today. Girl, I'm gonna have to put in some work. No, this is beautiful, beautiful. This is what I asked for and he pushed, he came through. I almost said pushed through. He pushed through too with it. Um, we're having such a great time. They are still out on the, um, in the pool. We have our own private, Whirlpool, pool, and a sauna. And so my husband's like, I don't think black people use sauna. I'm like, I don't think so either. So we don't even know how to use it, so we're not gonna use it. And we're only here for one night, but we have a late checkout tomorrow. And when I tell you we're gonna stay here and indulge in it, check out tonight to 11, and then the party is later on at 1 p.m., which y'all saw, I've already prepared everything. I'm a little lit, if you can't tell right now. I've had almost three drinks, so I should be okay. I'm gonna drink some water. Drink some water, make sure Jamie's bed, his little cot is together. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can really see what it looks like at night. It is beautiful here. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Aww. It is officially Sunday, officially JB's birthday. We had such a good time yesterday though. Let me turn on this TV song. Um, um Elmo burn burned out Elmo at 3 a.m. Boo boo, you're too loud, okay? You're too loud. Cause your voice it's the reason why it's too loud is because your voice would travel. Um I was gonna say. We slept good. It's so funny because we woke up. Um, and when you've been with someone so long, you're, it's kind of weird. You, you, those of you who've been married with their spouses, I'm talking about 15 plus, I'll be nice, 10 plus years. 10 plus years, you almost are in sync. Your bodies are almost in, are in sync. So we go to the bathroom around the same time. But anyway, around one, around one o'clock this morning when we had a bathroom break, um, I was like, those drinks were not strong enough. Cause usually the drinks are there at this place that we typically go. We we go we went to our date night place and we just brought JB because typically the drinks are so strong that I'm feeling real good like hours afterwards. But that's okay. I said this is okay that it wasn't that strong, you know, especially since we have the baby with you guys. So this is what things are looking like now. I have the dip in the oven, just real simple. Again, this stuff cost me less than um, including the decorations, less than 20 bucks, honestly. Um, I would say probably less than 25 because there's some th stuff I purchased prior to. So less than $25. Um, just make sure that things went in this place. We have some balloons here on the ground. I had those balloons from the Dollar Tree. Um, you know who is sleeping? I'm gonna wake him up in a minute. Streamer is up here. Just a little bit of decorations. Happy birthday, dear JB. Happy birthday to you. 